The next question, are you Imran Hussein, are you a Shia? No, I'm not Shia. <laughs> are the Shia Muslims? My answer is yes. Only Muslims are allowed to perform the Hajj. And to the best of my understanding and knowledge, the Shias have consistently been allowed to perform the Hajj throughout the 1400 years of the history of this Ummah. I don't know if there were one or two moments where they were not allowed, but that's irrelevant. Because for 99% of the time, the Shia were perform, uh, performing the Hajj. And even to this day, the Shia are performing the Hajj. And therefore, the ijma of this Ummah is that the Shia are Muslims. And I think it's a little bit late now to come with a fatwa. That the Shia a kuffar. I am not Shia, but I consider them to be Muslims. And I relate with all my Muslim brothers and sisters the way I ought to relate to them. If a Muslim brother or sister is on the path of error, then I must correct them. But I must not correct them with hatred in my heart. I must not correct, correct them in a destructive way. I must correct them with love in my heart and I must correct them in a constructive way. No, I'm not Shia and I'm not Deobandi and I am not Brelvi and I am not Salafi and I am not Tablig Jamaat. I am not a part of this sectarian divide and I don't want to be a part of that sectarianism. I abhor it. On the contrary, I am struggling to build a model of a Muslim village. Everybody knows that. And in this village I want the Sufi and the Salafi to live together in the village as brothers. And so I am struggling for unity amongst Muslims. And I recognize governments can't unite the Muslims. No. Nope. I recognize that the only thing that you can not unite the Muslims is the Quran and Nabi Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam. And so once we stay firmly with the Quran and with Nabi Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam, I have confidence in my heart that we can live together despite our differences.